what is up my guys today we're gonna be doing another youtube video today is gonna be a little bit different though today's video is gonna be pc optimizations in general not the hood pc optimizations that includes valorant siege apex those are the main games i usually play that i noticed a performance buff when i did these optimizations as i could tell though in the hood with the optimizations 500 fps right now sort of 400 500 sometimes speaking 600 and my ping is 43 to 49 50 around that so yeah my guys i'm gonna teach y'all how to do it I promise y'all won't be too long just give it time follow step by step if y'all have any concerns just go to the discord server link below and ask away with your questions i will answer them as fast as i can also, don't forget in the description below, there is also a link to the amazing crew that I own. Um, yeah, thank you so much, guys. Like, comment, subscribe. Let me know if there's any performances uh, and performance issues or any performance uh, like that are noticeable in general. Just let me know. Now, let's get straight into the optimizations. Alrighty, so the PC optimizations that we are going to do today are gonna give you guys an FPS boost, less delay, less lag, less stutter. And yeah, guys, let's get shit into the video. Make sure that do not restart your computer until all optimizations are done. So after we do everything that we're, I'm gonna cover right now, step by step, then restart your computer once you're done. Don't restart it after a second optimization because you're gonna have to restart your computer like 30 different times. Alrighty, so let's start with the video. What we're going to start off with is you're going to go to edit power plan, go to power options, high performance, select that. Okay. Next thing that we're going to do is we're going to search up on windows performance, adjust the appearance and performance of windows. Click that right here. It should be let windows this, uh, choose what's best for my computer. That's default. Click custom, click these three, click this one, and then click apply, click. Okay. It messes with, uh, how windows sometimes looks. So as you all can tell, like when I drag, uh, a tab it looks like this um if y'all don't like it just go back to default it's fine but i've only noticed like not a big difference like i would say like two fps more from this i really like a huge difference but i'll take as much as i can get so once you're done with this close that off search up game mode right here turn that on um i do recommend you have this on I played without it and I would notice that a lot of things were still running in my background when it was on. Very strange. So, uh, turn it on. Next thing you want to do is you want to go to the display, have that pushed over to the left, uh, go to graphics and you're going to have to put Roblox game clients here. If you don't have it here, it's so simple. Search up Roblox like this open file location should come up like this and then right click here open file location and roblox player beta right here select all that click control and then once you copy this you could close out of this and then click browse and then just copy the directory that you just copied you know and paste it here and then click roblox player beta click add and scroll down until you see it click options put high performance simple as that okay next optimization uh optimization that we are gonna go through is go to the command prompt make sure you run it as administrator if you run command prompt as administrator it should look like this right and the first thing that we are going to do is we are going to type in here ip config space slash lush dns i'll have a screenshot like right here of all the commands just step by step literally all you're just going to do is copy and paste the command or just type in the command enter then type the next command enter 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 it should be a total of five commands so once you type in the first one click enter then delete it um then after you delete it type in ip config space slash register dns click enter um once you click enter like i said delete it again then ip config 
space slash release enter delete it again ip config slash space renew copy all that uh as you can tell i spelled it wrong just like i said copy the screenshot that's going to be right here um then after when you're done with that you're going to last command you're going to put net net i think that's how you say it space winsock space resets after you do that um should say like oh please restart your computer don't restart it yet like i said we'll do it later close out of this okay once you close once you're done with those optimizations the next thing we're gonna do is we are gonna go to uh control panel right here network and internet then network and sharing change adapter right click ethernet or wi-fi i do both because why not um then internet protocol version 4 double click in here right here where it says use preferred dns server address preferred dns server we're using the google dns server this is easily searchable in um google just search up google dns server like right here then he says right here a dot a dot a dot a and then the secondary will be a dot a dot a dot four or eight dot eight dot four dot four uh google says it's 10 percent faster i noticed that i get like about like 15 ping lower than i usually do like i said try the google one first play a couple games if you notice that it helped you in ping and less delay keep uh keep with it and i noticed that in some regions like the uk or eu in general um google dns servers does work for some people and if not the 1.1.1.1 1 .1 .1 .1, .1, .1, .1, .1, alternate dns 1.1.1.1 .1 .1 .1 .1 .1, they both work and they're both good um once you guys are done with that there you could just close it click make sure you click apply close it close it close it close it all right the next stuff that we're gonna do is if you go to um the description below I would recommend you guys just download it straight from the Discord server. Like I said, there's going to be a, in the Discord server, there's going to be a channel that's going to be optimization. It's just download from there. Uh, it's going to be called TCP optimizer. Run it as administrator. Make sure you run it as, as administrator. Uh, I'm not going to run it as administrator because uh, I don't need to do it because I already did it. Uh, connection speeds, raise that to max. Raise it to max. Just trust me. Oh, if it, the slider won't let you raise it, just click customer here and then raise it to max. Trust me, it works. Then click modify all network adapters. Then just copy all the settings. Same thing. Um, this right here, normal, disable, CTCP, enables, enabled, 64, disable, 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 disabled. Just copy all that. Then copy this too. 10, 10, 4, 5, 6, 7, 2, disabled, 2,300, 0, optimal 1, disabled, gaming 0, disabled 1, enabled 1, disabled 0, default 0, default 1, 6, 5, 5, 3, 4, 30. Apply changes. Then it's going to ask you to apply, or like, are you sure you want to apply? Click OK. Then it's going to ask you to restart your computer. Like I said, don't restart it until we are done. So uh, then close out of it. And you're going to go to uh power shell windows power shell run this as administrator and you're going to search here get dash mm agents i'll also have a screenshot of the exact commands what to do so what we're doing here is we're turning off memory compression it's usually set on a uh, true which means it's enabled uh how to disable it it's so simple disable uh dash mm agents space dash mc boom once it's disabled then once we do all the other optimizations and you restart your computer it'll be disabled um if you do not want it disabled if you feel like oh it made it worse just go back and instead of typing disable you just would put enable with the e uppercase literally that simple like i said i have a screenshot right here of a. Uh, of the what should we call it the commands to put 
next thing that you guys are going to want to do, you guys want to hop on Discord or Google. I recommend do both and go to the settings of Discord and Google and turn off hardware acceleration. Make sure you turn this off. I noticed that this hogged up most of my uh, CPU utilis utilization or whatever it's called. Turn it off. Trust me. Just turn it off. Um, the next optimization, if you go to my Discord server, the, the file would be there to download. Uh, it's called Roblox Client Optimizer, aka Roco. Uh, once you download it, all you want to do is find where it's at. Let me see if I can find it. I think it's uh, I think it's in here, right here. Roblox Client Optimizer. Click it. Click Installer. The second you click it, it's already installing, and then it's gonna tell you to click Enter. Uh, or it's gonna be like, oh, it's already installed. Just click whatever button. And then you click, you click whatever button and it closes it out for you. Simple as that. Roco is so simple to set up. Um, next thing we're going to touch into is AMD settings for y'all AMD graphics card users. Just use, uh, just make sure you use the adrenaline edition. I know some people use like the graphical design edition or like, uh, the enterprise edition. Just use the adrenaline. It's way better. It's newer. It's not outdated. Uh, go to graphics, go to turn this on, turn this on 70. If you wonder what it does, literally tells you, don't be stupid. Literally tells you, don't be stupid. Click advance, go to performance, make sure, or make sure this is our performance. It's usually set to quality. And then for, uh, for shits and giggles, I usually, I like it. I prefer it. Uh, I have my saturation on my displays at 200 makes my game pop brighter vibrance and colors you know what i'm saying easier to see enemies to be honest it's just a great setting to have overall um you can close out of this that's all to uh that's all the settings for amd now on the screen right now while i'm editing the video i will have nvidia control panel settings if you guys don't know how to access the video control panel just right click your desktop these are for the nvidia gpu users right click your desktop it's just say show more options in the video control panel. Click it, then go to manage 3D settings and just copy these 3D settings that are on the screen right now. I used to have a NVIDIA uh, graphics card and I had these settings on and these settings worked wonders when I had the graphics uh, for the video graphics cards. Now, the next thing that we are going to go into is for the absolute uh less like if you truly want less ping unfortunately you do gotta pay for ropro it is worth it though without ropro i was like around 80 to 100 ping like for an example if i just hop into server right here right now let's see all right it's done loading as y'all could tell i do not get any 50 ping or 30 ping it's steady 100 and maybe just maybe 80 to 90. But no matter where I'm at, no matter what I'm doing, it's steady 100 ping. Right. With Ropro, on the other hand, with Ropro, close this out. And then when you get Ropro Plus, it's like $4 monthly. Scroll all the way down. It says filters right here. Best connection. let it load it doesn't matter if there's less people in it too um i still get around the same ping so let's see let's join this one as y'all could tell after loading in 50 to 40 ping 50 to 40 ping. um but yeah roblox press really just makes you have the lowest ping until roblox could you know fix their game and make it so that they have their own servers closer to where i'm at or that we could choose our own servers but in the meantime ropa plus is worth it if you do plan on taking like you know the hood any like seriously or, any, or anything like that um make sure you also run your game load gfx of course for the hood and go to settings and graphic quality at two even not on the hood as well like on valorant or apex if you care about performance more, you wouldn't run your game at max quality 
um, on Valorant, I run my stuff at like low or ultra low. But yeah, I think that's the end of the video, guys. Um, thank you so much for watching, following the steps. Like I said, any questions needed, just watch the video over and over again or like stop through it. If not, and you still don't have a, if you're still having trouble to understand, just join the Discord server. I wish this video could be any faster. Sorry that I'm a bit slow. It is five in the morning, almost six in the morning. So I stayed up just for y'all, just so I could post some content. Uh, I appreciate y'all. Leave a comment. Let me know if uh, it's helped. Thank you so much, guys, for everything. I appreciate the support. And see you guys soon.